In the studio, I'm working on several keyboard related products. These projects are fun for me, not only as a keyboard enthusiast, but as a designer. I have a hand in crafting every detail, the design of the product, brand identity, packaging, marketing assets. Seeing my ideas transform into tangible objects that I can share with others is so rewarding. Hello, I'm Matthew Encina, and in this video, I'll share a behind the scenes look into the process of designing my first keycap set. Before I begin, I want to thank Notion for sponsoring this video. Custom mechanical keyboards is a niche hobby, primarily driven by enthusiasts who create small-scale projects for the community. Customers buy from vendors, vendors work closely with manufacturers and designers to create unique products which are also influenced by the community. It's a codependent ecosystem with a vibrant community behind it. As a designer, I can pitch ideas to vendors and would work through them to bring the product to market. The first stage is coming up with a concept. Hundreds of keycap designs exist, usually with a bold theme. They're fun and appropriate, but few match my preference for subtle, minimal design. Lately, I've been into the warm and inviting tones of natural materials, and the design of my studio is a reflection of that. The white oak I built my furniture with, the gray concrete floors, and the subtle pops of color from objects throughout the space. I start by choosing colors inspired by these and visualize the keycap in 3D. I use Cinema 4D, but most people use Blender and the keyboard render kit. Digital color selection is a good place to start, but screen colors may not match physical ones. So choosing from physical catalogs like Pantone or RAL is crucial. It's simple to find a general palette you like, though it's daunting to narrow down which specific shade you want out of thousands, and even more difficult to make sure they work together. It takes me weeks to narrow down my selection. My concept and name for the keycaps, Modern Materials, a minimal, low contrast set inspired by contemporary interior design. You'll see later how this concept is further realized in the brand and marketing material. After rendering the keycaps, I'll create a pitch to present to potential vendors, get feedback, and find a suitable partner. Drawing from my experience in advertising, a successful pitch should clearly express the idea, demonstrate its viability, excite others about the project, and minimize the perception of risk. For projects at this stage and scale, I like to use Notion to create my pitches, because for me, it lives in the same place where I track all of my other projects it's easy to update, and on the user end, they can view it like a normal web page. At the top, I write a brief overview of the concept with a few key images so the reader can easily understand the idea. If they're interested in scroll down, I provide more details like renders and references that illustrate my vision and possibilities for the project. I'm mindful that vendors may see pitches frequently, so anything I can do to stand out, I'll include. Because I have an extensive background in design and have spent years building an audience, I'll mention these to help give confidence in the project's success. After careful consideration and several discussions with various keyboard vendors, I decide to partner with Novel Keys as my lead vendor and GMK as the manufacturer of Modern Materials keycaps. Both are highly regarded in the keyboard enthusiast community. I always have a great experience shopping through Novel Keys, and the majority of the keycap sets I own are manufactured by GMK. Now that I have partners in place, I have a team of experts to collaborate with through the remaining steps to bring my product to market. I'll be responsible for finalizing the design, copywriting, packaging, and promoting the product on my channels. Novel Keys in the US will be the lead vendor and will be responsible for sales and fulfillment. They'll be my main point of contact for production. They'll prep the sales pages and additional assets for launch, and help me coordinate with other global vendors within their network to run a pre-sale of the product. We'll then place our order with GMK in Germany, who will manufacture and package the keycaps. And in a few months, GMK will ship the completed products to Novel Keys and global vendors to begin fulfillment to customers. I've never produced and sold keycaps before, so it's nice to have partners who can lay out the process and help through each step. Now it's time for me to finalize the keycap design. I have to decide on the kitting, what keycaps will be included. There are many types of keyboard layouts to consider. ANSI, ISO, ALICE, 40%, and so much more. 
Adding more keycaps will help with inclusivity, but drive up costs and inventory management. If it's too expensive or lacks layout support, then less of the community will buy it. It's an important balancing act. After consulting with novel keys, I determine a kitting that hits the sweet spot. Full layout support, including minimal 40% keys, Mac keys, and all text modifiers, because I prefer how they look. Modern materials will come in two different base kits, concrete and stone. I also have an optional accent color kit that features my logo and a set of relegendables, a type of keycap where you can print and insert your own legends. Since the keycaps will be made out of ABS, I order plastic swatches from the Pantone catalog to finalize my color selection. I want to make sure these colors look good in this material. I'll ship these swatches to the team at Novel Keys, who creates renders of the kitting for the store. Then they'll be sent to GMK in Germany, where they'll color match them for production. Having physical samples that everyone is referencing ensures color fidelity. The next stage of the project is to create renders of the product on different keyboards for marketing purposes. These images showcase the keycaps in various settings and lighting conditions to give customers an idea of what they're ordering. In my past life, I used to do a lot of 3D work, so it's fun to be able to practice these skills again creating materials, framing and lighting shots, and rendering. I obsess over these details, as I do with every project. After creating several scenes, I format them for various purposes, such as landing pages and social posts. A big aspect of the project is to create a visual identity for the keycaps. This will live on the packaging, website, and collateral to ID the product. I want to play off the inspiration behind the set the language of contemporary interior design. I think it would be fun to visualize material swatches similar to what you would look at when designing a space. So I explore that motif. Whatever I create should work as fully rendered key art as well as simplified graphics to span the variety of uses. I start with quick sketches, then move into Adobe Illustrator to create the shapes and layout of the typography. Instead of using standard rectangular swatches, I decide to use these pill shapes. For the key art, I want these to have a tactile feel. I explore a variety of materials in 3D until I land on these. Then I render out high resolution images and create a graphic system that's an extension of the language I developed. Since I have momentum here, I move into the packaging. Novel Key sent me the template GMK uses to start with. Here I use the key art for the top and the simplified graphics for the other sides. I print the template at a small size just to make sure I have the right orientation for everything. To bring everything together, I want to create a project page for modern materials. I build off my original pitch, elaborating in areas to make sure the language complements the imagery shown. Using Notion, I can easily create a hub to collaborate with others, a single repository of the brand and marketing assets, which is shared with Novel Keys and our global proxy vendors. That way, we're all aligned when talking about the product. In this last stretch of the project, it's important to stay on top of tasks. I set up all of my remaining milestones in Notion. With Notion Calendar, I can see each of these on my schedule alongside all of my important appointments. With the Project Hub complete, I create a public-facing version of it on my site, a place where customers can get all the details about the keycap set, the specs, background information, and where to buy in the region. The sales pages are ready. I have several social posts ready to share. And with that, we're ready to open the pre-sale of Modern Materials. It's been two months. We had a successful pre-sale of modern materials at the end of 2023. I'm reviewing color match samples from GMK in Germany and are moving into production. Customers should receive their keycaps sometime in Q2 of 2024 and we'll have some extras to purchase, which I'll link to in the description. If you want to learn more about novel keys in GMK, there's some fantastic content by Teha Types that gives you a look into their process. 
If you're interested in designing your own keycap set, I've created a blog post with additional details about my experience, insights, and helpful resources. Thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. Use the link in the description to learn more and check out the new Notion Calendar app. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. If you have a question, ask, and I'll do my best to answer it. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.